I'm Jacob Soberoff. You're watching HuffPost Live. The Space Shuttle Endeavor left Kennedy Space Center in Florida for the last time, and it's headed to Los Angeles. Not on the back of a high-powered rocket, but perched atop a NASA 747 Found right here for Los Angeles, the new permanent home of the retired shuttle. After a few pit stops in Houston and at Edwards Air Force Base, Endeavour will arrive at LAX on Friday, and next month will make a two-day drive from the airport to its final permanent home, the California Science Center in Exposition Park. Joining us for an exclusive look into the space shuttle's journey on the phone from Houston, where she's traveling with the shuttle, Stephanie Stilson, NASA's shuttle transition and retirement flow director, and in studio, Ken Phillips, aerospace curator at the California Science Center. My dad is here, Steve Soboroff, the senior advisor to the California Science Center's Space Shuttle Project, and Cara Santa Maria, senior science correspondent at the Huffington Post. I want to talk to you, Ken. Um, this is something that started, uh, this has been years in the making. Um, 20 years, yeah. 20 years in <laughs> wow. the making. This, yeah, must be, uh, this just must be an unbelievable moment for you, knowing that the Space Shuttle is on its way here to Los Angeles. The first real conversation I had with our president, Jeff Rudolph, the first real substantive conversation was a list of artifacts, objects that we thought would make a really world-class uh, experience and um, the shuttle was at the top of that list and of course they were still flying had no idea whether we would get one but we had had the Challenger accident at that time um, they were scheduled for a hundred flights a piece you know so they were looking at a 400 flight manifest and I figured you know it wasn't gonna go that maybe we could get one but I didn't know whether we could get it on our watch but I said let's put it on the list if we can get the trustees to approve it it'll be become a part of our master plan and We've been thinking about this for 20 years. Here's a tweet that we found from uh, Renu Kator from uh, at UH Prez. It was thrilling to see Endeavor shuttle fly over campus on its way to California. So, Dad, it's coming to L.A. Um, we're going to see tweets like this all over the city. What does it mean to have the shuttle, you know, and tell us about your role in the project and what it means to have the shuttle come to L.A. Okay. Uh, first of all, you can call me Steve on the show. Yes, <laughs> I was going to say, yes, this sir. is a little awkward. <laughs> All right, Dad. Uh, <laughs> uh, second so thing is, I, I want I, I, I have uh, something for you and for your viewers. I found this in your toy chest, Jacob, and this it's very appropriate because this is the 747, Hold and it this up. is this is the Endeavor, and this is the way it sits right on the plane. That's awesome. This is, this is about the scale of the shuttle on top of the 747. That is a, that is to scale. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot smaller yeah. than the airplane itself. It's it really the shuttle's a lot smaller. I believe that 40 million people will see this um, spaceship, many children, um, for free, and it will change a lot of lives. Wow. It will change a lot of lives. It gives me the chills to talk about it. Um, NASA are engineers. Um, I'm not an engineer. When we traveled on the route, it's, it's got to go on the ground um, to the California Science Center from LAX. This is going to be a historic drive, but, uh, but as it goes, when, we, we, when, uh, when, the si when the engineers were taking, they're doing laser studies and everything else, because buildings you can't move. Right. <laughs> People are going to wake up along the route and see this thing a few inches from their window. So that's a few inches to me. And my, my feeling was, oh my gosh. To the NASA people, no problem. They're used to dealing in a billionth of an inch. Yeah. A billionth of an inch. They don't even use inches. They use don't. Centimeters. Even, <laughs> this is like a football field to them. Let's, so it's going to go down the street. <laughs> It'll go down the street. A lot of people, millions of people will see it. So, Stephanie, um, talk a little bit about the, the process that on, uh, you know, uh, for NASA, um, you know, we heard that you're going, you're going to be within inches of buildings. How is this compared to other challenges that you've faced at NASA before? Um, and how does getting the shuttles to their new permanent home uh, stack up? Well, let's let's back up and talk about the ferry flight. Obviously, in the past, we've done ferry flights before. That that was part of our normal processing if we ever landed in California or anywhere other than Kennedy Space Center. Uh, mm -hmm. So the ferry flight we're undergoing, of course, is always risky, but it's something we've done many times before. The offload, which is what we'll do at Los Angeles International Airport, is something we've done before as well, just recently with Discovery and also with Enterprise. Um, and so for us, that's the next big challenge in front of us as soon as we can get to Los Angeles. And that is about a 12-hour process. Then we'll take the vehicle on top of the transporter into the United hangar and do some final preparation of Endeavor so that it's ready to turn over to the California Science Center. Um, at that point, we're looking to hand it over to them for that great journey to get to the actual facility at the California Science Center. There is one area that we had to be extremely careful of. Um, that is the Randy's Donuts sign, which is on the corner of the 405 freeway. And, 
And that's probably... In so s- iconic. A Los Angeles yeah. institution. In the whole of the Randy's Donut sign is probably the greatest place to see the shuttle go by. I feel like there's going to be a sensibility that we can kind of be an astronaut for a day. You know, I think that there's so many children um, and adults, honestly, who think of this profession or who think of these endeavors as somehow distant Right. from their day-to-day lives and to be able to bring that home and and get that feeling of of being a member of NASA yeah. of being an explorer a scientist an engineer is is just going to be so exciting for yeah. so many people if you go back to the slide that shows it in the vertical mm-hmm. Jacob you can see that the um, you can see that that in the middle mm-hmm. the orange thing is uh, that's the external fuel tank right. and one of the questions kids are going to all ask and you might too is why isn't it white mm-hmm. And the reason it isn't white is because <laughs> paint paint weighs. So take the paint off and pa- you, you the wow. white paint weight. weighed 250 pounds. Now this is something I think it's more that like weighs 600, if I remember correctly. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> That's there you go. Paint. That's <laughs> big this guy's this. Don't listen to this guy. He's not a scientist. Listen <laughs> yeah. to Ken.